Coffee and coffee-related drinks are one of my favorite things in the world. The higher the quality and the more Ethiopian the better. I love it for the flavor and aroma, not a needed boost in the morning or midday. Drinking coffee can be both beneficial and detrimental. Most research is almost 100% positive. When something is 100% positive and it's difficult to find negative results, I become skeptical. For a very long time I was part of that 100% believing coffee is helping my blood vessels, nutrient delivery, and providing many other health benefits when I drink it. Over the years I fell in love with working on the human body and learning about the intricate details of how the body works. Working on thousands of people and experiencing how my body felt while fasting from coffee for 45 day periods through the year, I began to realize a more real story of how coffee caffeine affects the body. Rarely do you hear of people giving up coffee, as it's an extremely addictive compound, one of the most widely used in the world. No one second guesses what it's doing to the health of the individual. As with everything in this world, there is always a give and take principle to anything you do to the body. Energy is given but then the caffeine has to then exit the body because it's a foreign substance. When exiting the body through your pee, it has electrolytes attached to it. As consistently as most people are drinking their coffee, sometimes multiple cups or pots, they are equally robbing themselves of electrolytes. This is critical to understand because electrolytes are much harder to replace than water. Without electrolytes, you do not hydrate or absorb the water you drink. I must clarify that caffeine, when consumed in moderate amounts, is generally considered safe for most people and can even have some health benefits. Caffeine is a commonly consumed stimulant found in coffee, tea, energy drinks, and many other products. However, excessive caffeine intake can lead to negative health effects. Here's Let's discusses the potential risks associated with high caffeine consumption. Let's look at potential concerns. One of the most significant concerns associated with high caffeine consumption is its impact on the cardiovascular system. Excessive caffeine can lead to increased heart rate, palpitations, and elevated blood pressure. These effects may be especially risky for individuals with pre-existing heart conditions. Caffeine is also a well-known sleep disruptor. Consuming too much caffeine, especially late in the day, can interfere with your sleep patterns, making it difficult to fall asleep and stay asleep. This can lead to chronic sleep deprivation, which is associated with a range of health problems. High doses of caffeine can cause or exacerbate feelings of anxiety and nervousness. In some cases, it may trigger panic attacks or increase symptoms of anxiety disorders. Caffeine is a diuretic, which means it can increase urine production and contribute to dehydration. It can also irritate the stomach lining, leading to acid reflux, indigestion, and gastrointestinal discomfort in some individuals. Regular and excessive consumption of caffeine can lead to physical dependence. When you reduce or quit caffeine abruptly, you may experience withdrawal symptoms, including headaches, fatigue, and mood disturbances. There is some evidence to suggest that high caffeine intake may contribute to a reduction in bone density, potentially increasing the risk of osteoporosis, particularly in individuals who do not consume enough calcium. Pregnant women are often advised to limit their caffeine intake as excessive caffeine consumption during pregnancy has been associated with an increased risk of miscarriage and preterm birth. Professional Guidance If you find it challenging to manage caffeine withdrawal on your own, consider seeking professional guidance. A healthcare provider or a nutritionist can offer personalized advice and support to help you navigate the process. Remember, overcoming caffeine addiction is a gradual process and everyone's journey is unique. Listen to your body, be patient with yourself, and make adjustments that align with your health and well-being goals. If you encounter challenges, seeking professional guidance can offer valuable insights and support in managing caffeine reduction effectively. Do you think you might consider making any changes to your caffeine intake based on what you've learned? Have you ever known someone who successfully reduced their caffeine intake? And if so, what strategies did they use? If you feel my work is worth an appreciation, you can buy me a tea by giving a like to this video and clicking on that subscribe button.